Hey everyone, Gridiron here. So today I'm going to be doing a short manual landing tutorial in the Flight Factor Boeing 767-300ER. Looking around, I could never find any decent landing tutorials that didn't just basically ILS all the way down. So I decided to make one uh, of my own for those who are interested. Uh, as always, I'm not a real pilot, so uh, if you hear someone give contradictory advice on the topic, that's fine, do whatever works for you. But this method was learned from a real 767 pilot. I'm going to assume that the people watching this are somewhat familiar with the aircraft, so with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. Uh, also, please ignore the uh, voices in the background. This clip was recorded while watching a video, uh, but it was such a good clip uh, for these purposes that I really kind of just, I, I had to use it. So, yeah, let's get on with it. First, we're going to capture the localizer so we're aligned with the runway. Now, we're going to prepare the plane for landing. Extend your flaps, drop your gear when the magenta glide slope marker begins to fall, and use the approach page in your FMC to retrieve the correct IAS and check your pressure altitude. Also, pick the appropriate level of auto brake for the runway you're landing on. In this clip, I just happen to not set my auto brake at this time, but it's a good time for you to do so. VNAV did its job and we've successfully came in at the right altitude to capture the glide slope. We're auto land green. So around 5 to 600 radio altitude is a good time to disengage your autopilot and follow the flight director uh, down to the landing markers. Uh, I find disengaging earlier creates a large opportunity to misalign yourself with the runway, so I typically do it around 5 to 600. At 100 radio altitude, you should be passing the threshold of the runway and taking note of your sink rate and angle of attack. If it's more than 500 feet per minute, you should nose up. 50 radio altitude is an important marker. The distance and time between 50 and 40 will predict your landing force, so they should be around a second and a half apart. At 30 radio altitude, we're going to begin retarding our throttle and flaring. By 20 radio altitude, the throttle should be idle. Uh, you should now be focusing on the end of the runway and attempt to align the plane's nose with the end of the runway, achieving a 2 to 3 degree flare. For 
to bring the nose down softly and engage your reversers. Leave them on till about 60 knots. Press escape. At this point, we can assess our landings. Uh, ASO's landing speed plugin is useful for this as long as you ignore the actual rating uh, that it gives you, as the scale is calibrated to general aviation and not airliners. Uh, ideally, you want to land with a force of about 2 Gs. Uh, I scored 1.3, which is quite good for this landing. Uh, over 2 Gs, and a real life pilot would uh, have to go over their plane's equipment and uh, have the vehicle damage inspected. And finally, let's take a look at the landing from the external camera. Thanks guys, hope this helps you. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumb up. If not, feel free to let me know why. Red Iron signing off.